Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Ryan Engelstad here, Thunderdome, Minnesota. And we have a Busby Clip Blaster here. Uh, I know a few of these have shown up on the Nerf Thrifting uh, Facebook uh, group lately. And I got my hands on one through a trade uh, of uh, presidential flashcards for a uh, blaster. So, what is this? I looked on YouTube and... Saw some videos from a while back, nothing too recent, and it's always kind of interesting when you, you know, Google a blaster, you don't see something from the big, uh, the big name YouTube guys that have had done a review on it, or, uh, you know, it's always fun to find one that doesn't have a whole lot of information on it. Kind of gives you license to talk about it however you want. And anyway. Uh, it says 2009 on the blaster, so that means maybe it was 2008 developed. Uh, this was back when Busby was using their yellow uh, darts with the purple tip. The clip fits them, works well, and it is kind of like their Alpha Trooper in a way. It doesn't have slam fire. Um, it has kind of a Star-Lord feel look to it. The uh, handle... Is not, you know, two. It may be, you know, half a finger too small for my hand, but not as small as some blast Busby uh, blaster handles have been, for sure. Nice uh, front prime. Uh, I kind of looked at it as a retaliator recon type blaster, just upside down, because um, of course the magazine goes in there. And, you know, looking at that, that looks really, really, really good. I think this would be something that, now that they're making their clip-fed bl clip blasters so well these days, and their darts are cross-compatible these days, that this might be one that they might want to revisit. I mean, it's nice and small, front prime, uh, undergrip. Uh, I think this is something they could bring back, just revamped, with their new... Uh, with their new internals. I was wondering if one of the reasons why this didn't take off was it is kind of a overly complicated, but I think probably more reliable system from back in the day because they really were banking on keeping that dirt. I mean, all their blasters from that time were using that dirt. And or at least most of the ones I know about. All the Tech Sixes, Tech Tens, Tech Threes, you know, everything, all the shell blasters, everything was dependent on that dirt. And they were keeping that going, but they kind of maybe want to get into the clip fed thing. And I know they have the shell ejecting clip Winchester type, uh, the, the rapid fire techs and things that use the shell with uh, magazines. So I wonder if this was their way of trying to make one without the shells and still do it. But now if you look, and how this is made, you know, each side of this has a little lip to hold the section dart in place. And a piece and a spring. And a piece and a spring. And then this has a uh, feeder with, that you can put your thumb on to move up and down to get it out of the way. And this side has, you can see, has a gear on it, you know, keep it in place. And then on the inside... To make it has those little white pieces to push these little uh, orange flappers oh, uh, you know apart so the darts will fall in and then it has a whole mechanism on how you know just like most other blasters on how you'd feed the dart into the breech and then it has a gate on the front to uh, uh, hold it in place until you're ready to fire. And if you think about all the molds and all the pieces and all the springs and the labor to put it all together, and they only sold it, only ones I could see was for $10, and it was, you know, 10 uh, dart capacity and a $10 blaster, you know, the profit might not have been high enough on something like this to keep it going. Because I'd never, this is the first time I've ever seen one in, in the flesh. And I never saw that they would have offered this anywhere else, this magazine. 
So I'm wondering if the complicated mechanism for Busby at the time may have made it so that this was not a profitable blaster to make. So they scrapped it in favor of ones that they could make profit on. Because at the end of the day, if they're not making profit on it, then, uh, you know, why keep continuing with it? If uh, Especially, you know, the performance, you know, I did shoot this some, and, you know, it, you know, 20 feet, 25 feet, you know, it's not horrible, not great. It's, you know, the, you no know, 2009, 2010, you know, we weren't getting the performance we're getting these days. So... I'm glad that Busby went in some of the directions they did go, and they do do a lot of fun. And I think this is one that they could bring back and would be really well recepted. But this would be really well accepted these days because of the form factor. It's so nice and compact, and the way it would work. And if it they made it compatible with their drum, or their ma or just for their magazines, I think this would be a winner. Um. There might be other people that have a different take on it, and this might get passed along to someone else who uh, also would like to investigate uh, how these Busby things work. But I'm glad I have it for now. Um, I did uh, think about how there's no uh, sling points on here and uh, what you'd actually do with it. And I think what I would have done was, because uh, when this fits in, this actually secures in pretty darn well. I mean, and you can wrap around a sling point in the middle here where it wouldn't obstruct this. And this would have been a dandy sand, uh, secondary of the day because if they didn't have the magazines sold separately, it does take a little bit to load that magazine. I mean, of course, the more you do it, the faster you get. But uh, just because of this, when you get down to putting the last ones in, they... Uh, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit awkward. I don't think you could do that while you're under fire very well, and then you can't front load it because of that uh, uh, block guide thing. So, anyway, that's the Busby Clip Blaster. My take on it. I don't know, kind of a rambling video about it, but uh, it's an interesting one. I'm glad I've gotten a, gotten my hands on one finally, and hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.